Assassin's Creed Shadows has been fully revealed and it's making its way to PlayStation, Xbox, and PC later this year on November 15th. It's a monumental title from Ubisoft that's sure to revive the Assassin's Creed franchise even more than Mirage did when it was released in October of 2023. In the all-new cinematic trailer that was recently revealed, we received an epic showcase of two brand new characters that are fronting the Assassin's Creed Shadows, a shinobi named Neo and a samurai named Yusuke. This dual protagonist system might seem familiar as it smacks of the core mechanic present in 2015's Assassin's Creed Syndicate which was set in Victorian London and also featured a dual protagonist system made up of a male and female split. On the surface, Assassin's Creed Shadows and Assassin's Creed Syndicate couldn't be more different. They're poles apart in terms of their setting, their respective places in the overall timeline, and the story that unravels throughout the lengthy playthrough. But at the heart of both games sits an identical dynamic, a dual protagonist system built on the foundation of one male and one female character. Yasuke and Neo have dramatically different backgrounds, while Assassin's Creed Syndicate's Jacob and Evie Fry are biological brother and sister, twins. However, from the trailer that was released by Ubisoft recently, we get the stark impression that these two duos will function in a very similar, if not identical, way. In Syndicate, Evie Fry was agile, quiet, stealthier character relying more on subterfuge and weapons like throwing knives to get the job done. Jacob, on the other hand, was brash, heavyset, and preferred an open brawl to a silent dagger in the back. From what we've seen, Nao and Yusuke will function the same way, with the former utilizing ninja skills to fly around the map fluidly, while Yusuke makes use of heavy weapons, thick armor, and full frontal assaults to achieve his goals. At any point, players can switch between the two characters to take on missions how they see fit, but it's widely assumed that they'll have character-locked missions that only one or the other can undertake, which is how things worked for Jacob and Evie Fry. But the real question, are you Team Yasuke? As many people are voicing their concern about betraying a free African slave living in the courts of Oda as the main protagonist who will shape Japanese history. It's um, a little questionable. Now, when news was going around that Yusuke was going to be in the game, I was fine with that. I assumed he was going to be a side character whose proximity to Yasu and Oda allow him to be a helper to the Assassin's Order. Like uh, relaying messages from the Templars who have begun infiltrating the country of Japan through the use of the Catholic missionaries who were also provided by the Portuguese. But with Yusuke being the main character shaping Japanese history... Um, I just don't know. I, I think the story will still be great, but I feel like this is a little bit of an injustice to the Japanese, who for all I know, love the trailer. But I just assume that both of our protagonists would be Japanese. As in Syndicate, both were English, Odyssey, Greek, Origins, Egyptian, Mirage, Iraqi, and Valhalla Norse, all coinciding with you know their actual history and location. Amplifying Yusuke's position in Japanese history without really knowing anything about his history outside of him being an ex-African slave because Oda was fascinated with his skin tone and that the Portuguese gave him to Oda as a gift, and then Oda in return gave Yusuke a name and freedom, but we don't really know if his title as samurai was one of endearment or actually he rode into battle. You know, we just don't know. But I just hope the game turns out alright and has a great story and is fun to play. I have rode with Assassin's Creed far too long to jump off now. But outside of that, you guys have a good one.